Hi vegans, I'm sorry for this. The diet is a malnutrition diet. Mensch, das ist auch richtig. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but vegans cannot get vitamin A from plant foods, period. Veganism is the most aging diet out there. It's a clever deception. It makes you feel like you're helping the environment when you're actually doing the exact opposite. All vegans murder just as many animals as a carnivore, if not more, through farming and through monoculture. Veganism presents itself as anti-establishment and health conscious, but it's actually the exact opposite. It will leave you malnourished, infertile, and aging beyond belief. <laughs> If you guys have seen my befores and afters of my vegan diet, you'll see how much I aged. I looked like I was in my mid to late 30s at the end of the diet, and I had started out in my early 20s. I'm going to explain why vegans experience so much aging, and it's because they really cannot get vitamin A from plant foods and vegetables. You just cannot get it, and you cannot convert it. both plant forms of vitamins and then animal forms of vitamins. Plant forms of vitamins are not bioavailable to us, which means that your body has to go to extra work to convert them. Vitamin A comes in the form of retinol, and in plant foods, it comes as beta carotene. It has a lot of functions in your body. It's an essential vitamin. It keeps your eyesight good. It keeps your skin nice, young, firm, and wrinkly free, which is why you see a lot of retinol creams being sold to people who want to have youthful skin because it helps the skin retain its elasticity. So let's go into some studies that prove what I'm saying. This study right here shows that beta carotene has a conversion rate of 28 to 1 in humans. That's an extremely low conversion rate, and it's different based on genetics. And even if it were that high, most people need fats to absorb it anyway. The USDA is allowed to call beta carotene vitamin A on plant foods when it really isn't the same thing and your body has to convert beta carotene to vitamin A in order for your cells to absorb it. This is a known fact. So plant foods also contain enzymes that inhibit the conversion of beta carotene to retinol. So you're being misled every time you read that your kale has a percentage of vitamin A. It's not true. It actually has just beta carotene and your body has to go and convert it. Now this is where it gets bad because the conversion rates for humans are all over the place and are very, very low we have a very difficult time converting beta carotene to vitamin A. If we even do at all, it's determined based on our genetics. Weston A. Price was a man who went around the world to different tribes and he found that there were absolutely no vegan tribes and he really wanted to find a vegan tribe. There were absolutely none. He also discovered something about vitamins, which was that some vitamins are water soluble and some vitamins are fat soluble. If some vitamins are fat soluble, that means that you need fats to absorb it. And avocados do not count as fats. They're just plant oils. Cholesterol is only found in animal products. So you need that type of fat to absorb these vitamins. This is where it gets so tricky because vegans can do their macros and they think they're getting all these vitamins, but they're not absorbing them. And then they see the aging, then they see the health issues, and they still don't understand why. It's because they're literally malnourished. This lack of retinol causes the rapid aging that we see in so many vegans. In conclusion, you cannot get vitamin A from a vegan diet, and you will end up malnourished. I hope that this video has opened your eyes to a different side of health, one that isn't really promoted as much as veganism is. And I hope that if any of you guys are vegan or are thinking of going vegan, understand that it's not as beautiful as it looks and understand that it's actually going to wreck your health. If you guys want more information on this, you can DM me on Instagram at MeganXRose or just subscribe to my channel and I'll be posting more videos like this in Thank the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love all of you and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye now. Mm -hmm.